often we see that the old man and the boy talk about the game of baseball and the old man refers to Di Maggio who was a great champion player and that he was a great asset to the Yankees team and the boy also said that uh, that Di Maggio could hit the longest ball he had ever seen next the old man tells the boy that when he was a lad he had seen lions on the beaches in africa and the old man then asks whether he should talk about baseball or about africa and the old man talks about john g mcgraw and the boy then says that perhaps this person john g mcgraw was the greatest baseball manager and that he was interested in horse racing besides baseball so before dawn the next day the old man went and woke up the boy at the boy's house and the boy came with the old man to the latter's shack in order to help him to carry the fishing gear and other things to the shore next the boy went and brought the promised sardines and fresh baits for the old man the boy then wished the old man good luck and the old man sailed away in his skiff now we come to the second part of the story when on the 85th day the old man knew that he was going farther out than he had ever been before he rowed out coat into the clean early morning smell of the ocean unquote before it was really light he had his baits out and was drifting with the current one bait was down 40 fathoms the second was at 75 and the third was and the fourth went down at 100 and 125 fathoms respectively and each hook was covered with a bait which was sweet smelling and good tasting to any big fish and the projecting parts of the hook were covered with fresh sardines manolin had given the old man two fresh small tunas or albacores also and these hung on the two deepest lines now the old man kept a watch on the dip of the various sticks over the side of the skiff and rowed gently to keep the lines straight up and down and at their proper depths there was enough light now and the sunrise was close at hand so two hours after sunrise the uh, old man sees a man of war bird with its long black wings circling in the sky ahead of him the appearance of this bird showed the presence of flying fish in the water the next moment some flying fish jumped out of the water and sailed desperately over the surface the bird tried to chase the flying fish at the same time santiago saw a big school of dolphins cutting through the water below santiago understood that the bird would not be able to catch the fish because the f- flying fish were too big for this bird and they moved quite fast and santiago has a kind of a feeling that the big fish that he he was looking for was somewhere near him